Hello everyone, today we do a solo Grandmaster run with Hunter. For my subclass, I'll be using Night Stalker. Here are the mods and fragments I'll be using this video. For my kinetic, I'll be using the Stasis Lost Signal Grenade Launcher. Next, I'll be using a Arc Pulse Rifle with the Jolt Feedback. For my heavy, I'll be using Dragon's Breath. This week, I decided to go for the Hunter, and I'm going to be skipping the Unstoppable Champion, and you can still get Platinum Rank. Another reason why I'm skipping this Unstoppable Champion is because this champion never existed. Yeah, that's right. For the first version of the Birthplace of the Vile, there was never a Unstoppable Champion at that spot. It was a mini ogre. But for some reason, they added an additional champion, and you don't have to take it down to get Platinum Rank. Now we're going to introduce you the Void Seeker, Overload Champion, and the Scorch, or the Solar, Overload Champion. Did I mention about Banes? Yes, there are actually Banes for this Nightfall and at the boss fight, which is great. Perfect. And then we got the new modifier. Can't resist the Naruto joke. I'm going for two Fireball no Jutsu. <laughs> <laughs> Sasuke is teaching these bangs some elemental moves. Believe it! When I saw those meteors, I just had to say it. So yeah, we are gonna have these bangs at this area. And I was just pulling back because I was just so shocked. I said, I can't believe it. We got Chakra, a limited bang from the back next to the Overload Champion. But yes, there are two Overload Champions up ahead. I do need to take down this Meteor or this Fireball no Jutsu. I mean, gosh, this guy has a lot of health. I need to take him down before I take down the other champions. You know what I should have done? I should have used my Dragon's Breath, but I just wanted to save it. I didn't think it was even worth of using Dragon's Breath on the Bang. But at least it wasn't a Drainer or a Shocker. Or a mine. Well, I would say a drainer in a healer. Healer will probably be the worst for the cave because a healer can actually heal the overload champions, and they're a nightmare to deal with. So once we take down the overload champions, now we're gonna go and deal with the unstoppable champions up ahead and the mini boss. So you can use. Anarchy, you can use Dragon's Breath, you can use Lost Signal, Grenade Launcher, and then just make your way to do DPS as much as you can. So I am going to hide behind this rock. Well, I could hide from the rock from the right side if I want to. It's up to you. But make sure you do multitask, and yes, this mini boss likes to shoot lava. I mean, if you thought, if you think that's hilarious or shocking, just wait till we get introduced by the lava overload champion. Yeah, that's right. There's actually five types of overload champions or scorn champions for this nightfall. And I know it's pretty shocking. There's five types, and I'll be introducing each and one of them because I just think it's hilarious that. There's five different types, the same scorn, the same enemy, but they just have this unique, quote unquote, ability to make your life difficult to deal with them. But the good news is for the mod of the brawn, you do get a lot of health, but you can't regenerate your health. So that means you have to use ability. You have to use abilities where you can use Devour to heal yourself, melee builds, weapons, exotics, pretty much anything you feel most comfortable with. And yes, I am going to go for Invis and I am going to just capture this plate. It's around 21 seconds. And I'm just going to make my way to the door because I do not want to bother myself with these stalkers. Yes, these stalkers actually throw these void grenades. They are a pain, but the good news is because of the mod for this week or for this Nightfall, I wouldn't say this week because every Nightfall has its own mod, unfortunately. 
I could say that the worst so far I've seen is Innervert Spire and Liminality, probably, depending on your artifact power. But maybe I'll talk about that another time. So now we're gonna deal with these corrupted raiders. I really despise them, especially during the time when Birth of Birthplace of Vile was new and the void grenades one shot me like half a second. I remember I was just looking at the void grenades. I was like, ooh, pretty, and I died. That was the old version, and it was horrible. I really hated Birthplace of the Vile so much. But I mean, I mean, I know that this version's easier. You know, yay, yay for everyone. You don't really have to worry about your health or worry about the void grenades to one shot you. Because if you are on a warlock, let's just pretend I'm a warlock, I could just use my healing rift. Yes, if you do use a healing rift on warlock, let's just pretend your health will will regenerate, it'll go slow, but it's better than nothing. And for me, I would have to rely on a ore build and devour pretty much for the hunter. Or I could go for a prismatic subclass as well. You don't have to be tether hunter. I mean, I'm just going for tether hunter because, well, I just thought it'd be interesting to just go for it since tether has been disabled on the dungeon still to this day sadly the normal version by the way so now we're going to deal with insuffler champion there is a overload champion from fire distance and it is the void seeker overload champion yes a void seeker overload champion and there's like i said there's five types of scorn overload champions and if you think that's the worst one, well, I, I wish I could say yes, but it's not. There are far worse Overlord Champions than this guy, but he's the Void Seeker. He likes to shoot Void. Pretty annoying, but hey, you can combo with the Grenade Launcher. You can combo with the Pulse Rifle with the Jolt Feedback. And highly recommend to try it out. The Pulse Rifle, it's really good. If not, I mean, you don't have to. You could just go for a different weapon. Or you can go for a different exotic. You can use a exotic where it could heal you. Or you can use Ander Key. Pretty much anything you like. So now we're going to go to the next area. Great. What else could go wrong in this situation, right? Alright, so before the door opens, make sure you pop a Anarchy or Dragon's Breath. And yes, a Stalker did fell down from the Death Pit. And you could throw your grenade as well to clear down all the adds or the Scorns. You can also turn invisible. Now, I would jump from the right side. I don't know if anyone saw it, but if you watch my other video with no commentary, I forgot that I was on Hunter. I thought I was on my Titan or my Warlock. It was pretty hilarious. And I missed my jump and I almost got sent back to orbit. Pretty hilarious. But anyway, unfortunately, we got the healer and he's healing all these adds, all these corrupted scorns. So what I did over here is a little risky, a little dangerous for Dragon's Breath, is I used Dragon's Breath on the Scorns, but I had to back away. See, the problem with Dragon's Breath is when you're using it, you can't be too close to it because the Dragon's Breath could hurt you. That's the problem of Dragon's Breath, but everything else is really good. But using it up close, you just can't really do that. Now, yes, you can do it on Anarchy, so yay. Anarchy, you can just go, you know, 
close to the boss or champion. You could just spam anarchy. Well, actually two, but maybe three. And it's not going to hurt you. Not so much, not really. Where compared to Dragon's Breath, yes, it can kill you. It can send you back to orbit. And that's not what we want for a solo GM. We have to go flawless for Grandmasters overall. So once we took down the Bang, now we're going to deal with the Overlord Champion. So you can use the Pulse Rifle. And then you could just collect some ammo and then make your way to the next section. Alright, so once we clear corruption, yes, I did use a rocket so I could pick up the heavy because I just thought of actually I'm not sure why <laughs> I'm not sure why I did that. I just thought it would look cool. I just want to look cool for everyone. So we're going to take down these scripts and the raiders. Yes, the raiders. I despise them so much. So much hatred towards them. But honestly, if I have to be like super honest, I hate the snipers. But because this week it's easier to deal with them. And I despise the boss. I hate the boss. I know the boss is easier this season, but the old version, I still have nightmares. Like me, you know, not even close to the boss. He one shots me with his stomp. Those moments, all right? And then the snipers. I remember I turned invisible and it one shot me. The sniper one shot me. Out of nowhere. Alright, see, I, I'm i still traumatized by the old version of Birthplace of the Vile. So now we're going to deal with the scribs. Another thing I could do, and I didn't really do it so much, is I could have turned invisible and then just focus on upload champion. Yes, I know, I know. Blitz, you have invis, you never use it. There, and the reason why I don't use it is because sometimes, sometimes I forget I'm a hunter. But I sometimes I forget I have invis. That is the truth. I forget that I have invis. Sometimes. And I just don't really use it so much. Only if it's necessary. But if you really want to kill the time. And you just want to, you know, a little speed up. You can just skip all these ads. And then just focus on the offload champion. And then just make your way. But another thing about it is it's nice to have some extra special ammo because of the boss fight. Because you will be back in this room at the boss fight. And you could save some, you know, you can get some heavy there or special. Alright, so now we're going to go for the next section, the two plates. So I'm going to use or pop a dragon's breath. And we're gonna spam grenade launcher. Why not? I mean, look at look how much grenade launcher I have. Lost signal. I have like around twenty or twenty-one ammo. Might as well just spam it. Just use it. All right. So now we're gonna take down the Insolvo champion. I'm gonna use my super. And there's actually two unstoppable champions. So you know, you just take your time. And then once we take down the two champions, then we can capture the plates. Now let me just tell you a little bit about the plates since we're kind of going to use the invis for this. So when capturing the plates on Warlock or Titan or Hunter, if you're not going for the invis, let's just pretend I'm on Arc Strider, Hunter. You will have to be on the plate, right? And... The problem with the plates for this area is they're infinite. They're pretty much infinite, so always have your super for a backup. Also, your prismatic. If you want to go for the prismatic, you can use your prismatic as well when capturing the plate. Now, the hardest plate to capture, or the most annoying to capture, in my opinion, 
probably the bottom left side this one for me everyone's different and when i do go on my titan my warlock let's just pretend i usually go over here first but sometimes i do go from the top right you know depends on my mood but anyway when capturing the play just be aware of the scripts Another thing I like to mention is there will be a mini boss you can see right there. You must take him down when you are going on a different subclass, non invis subclass. And also, you can spam your abilities a lot. Let's just pretend that I'm going for a pris prismatic stasis turret build. You could just throw stasis turret at the ad spawns, and then you'll be able to capture the plates pretty easy. Alright, so now we're going to capture the second plate, and usually this section can be a bit tricky because sometimes scribs sneak up on you, or the raiders from the right side where the staircase is. And usually a mini boss will spawn right there, which you will have to spawn kill it if you can. But we're not going to do that, we're going to go for invis, so I'm going to wait for a while and then we're going to go to the next section. So the next section is the Esophil Champion. And I think, I don't remember, but I think there's going to be a bang. Or a bang bang. You know, this elemental mini bosses. I'm trying to remember which one is this. But from what I see from the tether, like the tether is not as bad as the drainer. I'm going to guess it's a shocker. And it is. It is the shocker. And the shocker is easy to deal with. Way better than the drainer. So make sure you take down the shocker if you can. If not, take down the Asafo champion depending on where he is. If he's too close. Or if he's really far away like you saw in this video, you could take down the shocker. It's really RNG. So now we're going to clear corruption and then go to the teleportation. This is the teleportation of where you're gonna be at the boss fight. Well, I would say the second phase of the boss fight. So if you want to, this is up to you. You can actually clear these ads and then just save some special bricks or heavy ammo bricks for the boss fight. Now, I used to do this a lot when Birthplace of the Vile was tough like really tough that time now I'm trying to remember what weapon did I use I think I used Leviathan's Breath or maybe I used a different exotic I don't remember it's a blur all right a blur but I remember that I was I had Lucent Finisher and I was using Lucent Finisher at the Champions, which we will have a Champion up ahead. I just gather a bunch of heavy bricks so I can do DPS at the boss. So now let me introduce you the Sniper of the Champion. So remember that Void Seeker that we had to take down? Well, this guy... I mean, right now he's not dangerous, but since we have the Brawn mod right but usually his sniper can sometimes one shot you all right i know now it doesn't do that anymore i'm just letting you know this sniper of low champion is a pain in the bungee but now we're gonna take revenge on it because they i think they nerf it either that or it's because of the mod can't really tell 100 percent, but i'm just letting you know that that sniper of low champion Gave me a lot of headaches on my past runs. So now we're gonna go to the next area. So there's gonna be two more Ovalo champions. Now I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember what type it is. So I'm going to guess it is a Void Seeker and a Scorn Ovalo champion, or the one that shoots Sola. It's a guess. I don't remember 100%. Maybe I'm right. I hope I'm right. So 
So now we're gonna take down all these stalkers. They like to throw grenades, so be very, very careful with them. And I don't know why, but for some reason, I saw them throwing a grenade, but it looked like a arc instead of a void. Like, look at that. Like, when they threw the grenade, it was it's all blue. Isn't it supposed to be purple? I'm so confused, but alright, I'm just gonna let that slide. I'm gonna let that slide, everyone. That was just awkward. Usually supposed to be a void purplish grenade. So, I, I don't know if they nerfed it or did some tweaks, but anyway, we're gonna deal with Overload Champions. So make sure you take down the Overload Champions as fast as you can. It's always best to take one at a time, because if you try to take both of them, sometimes one of them can tether. Super annoying. But yes, I was right. So we do have a Void Seeker. And then the other one was probably a Sola. Alright, so once we take down the Overload Scorn champions, both of them, we're gonna go to the bridge. I really hate the bridge. And the reason why is because the mini boss's RNG could be a arc. You know, the Arc Overload Champion, well not the Arc, it could be the Arc Mini Captain. But I usually use my super here and then just try to do as much DPS as I can. So I usually like to back away, but then this weird light sometimes blinds me, even with my glasses on. I really hate that. Super annoying, but make sure you take down the mini boss. Make sure you use your Anarchy if you have it. You can do so much damage. And yes, there is a bang of Stasis that likes to harass me. And for some reason, it's not that aggressive. It's just staying close to the mini boss. Alright, we're going to deal with Unstoppable Champions. So there's actually two of them. And if you actually pass the bridge, sometimes there's a weird bug glitch which hasn't been fixed to this day. Where the Unstoppable Champion can just teleport in front of you. Now, they do that a lot. I thought maybe they fixed it, finally, where they did this weird odd teleportation when you push towards the bridge. But they didn't fix it, unfortunately. So what I could have done over here is I could have turned invisible and then just use my pulse rifle, use my grenade launcher. But like I said, sometimes I just forget that I have invis. That's just me. I always just forget that I have the build. I know that if you are not going on invis, let's just pretend you probably have to stand here or if you are using... If you have your super, you can push and deal with the Zuffalo champions. But anyway, I was just trying to figure out if I should focus on a Zuffalo champion or just take down the last mini boss from up ahead. I'm still debating what should I do. And then later on, I did saw a heavy brick. I think I saw heavy brick. So I decided to turn invisible sooner or later to deal with the mini boss. Now I could have used my super. I don't think I used my super for this run. I think I was just saving it for the boss fight. Now to make this run more faster, you could have you could use your super to do DPS at the mini boss and the stuff champion. But I decided to just save it because I really, really want to use it for the boss fight and yes the Zuffalo champion did teleport I did say that there's a weird bug where when you pass the bridge one of the Zuffalo champions or two of them you know RNG they can teleport in front of you really hate that but sadly sadly they didn't fix it so yeah you can use your super if you have it but I'm gonna save mine for the boss fight I feel it's worth using it for the boss fight for me, so I'm gonna save it. All 
Alright, so we're almost done doing DPS at the champion. They're just backing away. We defeated the boss. And hopefully we'll take all of them down. Alright, I think we're good to go. Now we can actually get to the boss fight. You know, the fun part. Pretty much what everyone wants. They want to see the boss fight. Now the good news is because of the modifier, the boss can't one-shot you. It can't one-stomp you like it did before because of the mod we have with the Bran. I was just double checking, like maybe I should just use a little bit more of the potion, you know, high quality H2O. Alright, I'm going to clear corruption, and now we're going to try to stagger the overload champion that will spawn in the middle. So, usually I like to take down the overload champion as fast as I can, if I can, if not... The Overload Champion is going to use its ability to tether all these enemies and then it's just going to give you a hard time. So we took down the Overload Champion, yay. And now we're just going to add, you know, add kill or kill spawn all these ads. So what you could do is you could use Dragon's Breath, you could use Anarchy, or you can use your Lost Signal Grenade Launcher to do DPS and to deal with these ad spawns. So that's basically what I did for this video. I just use my Grenade Launcher, ad spawn, and you can also do some DPS at the boss. Now, I didn't have any more of Dragon's Breaths. Unfortunately, if I had it, I would have used it and do some, you know, do damage at the boss. But unfortunately, I didn't do that. Well, I, I didn't have heavy. I mean, there was really nothing I could do. I mean, I could use my super if I had it or spam the grenade launcher. That was the only option I had for this run. So I am going to just spam grenade launcher, just rotate, take my sweet time. And then once all the ad spawns are done, I'm going to do DPS at the boss. Another thing you could do is just spam your super as well. I think I forgot my super. I was just focusing on the ad spawns. So I could take them down, make life easier because if you don't take down these stalkers then or raiders, they can snipe you, or worst of all, the worst scenario ever is throw a bunch of void grenades, which is extremely annoying. They're not as dangerous as before, but you just have to be a little cautious. But I honestly still despise them. And yes, I did miss my first tether. Alright, that was embarrassing there. But hopefully we can do some damage to the boss. So I'm gonna go behind this statue. For some reason, the boss can't shoot me when I'm behind this sculpture. And for some reason, the boss likes the art. You know, likes art, likes sculptures. It just can't hurt it can't hurt the sculpture in front of me, which is funny. So I'm going to do DPS and then just do a mini time skip. After spending one minute of my life and this boss still can't hurt the sculpture from the mini art museum from there. Now we're going to deal with scribs. So remember this area from near the beginning of this nightfall? Yes, we're revisiting this area where we had to deal with the overload champion. So you can actually pick up all the special ammo that you left or heavy ammo that you left in this room and you can use it for the boss fight. That's one thing I really like about this nightfall is you can have ammo. You can have ammo in this room, well two of the rooms, and you can use it for the boss fight, which is pretty cool. I don't mind at all. 
So you can jump on these mini platforms and then you can just use grenade launcher. You can use anarchy. And right now I'm just trying to bait. Should I wait and get rid of the raiders? I really hate them. Sometimes they just run away when they're a low health. Especially the corrupted raiders. Really despise them as well. Alright, so I'm just trying to get rid of the scribs. Alright, and hopefully I'll get my grenades. Come on, SL grenades. Alright, I did pretty good. Pretty good. I thought I was gonna miss. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna deal with the other champions. And yes, I know, I know. Why can't you just turn invisible and take down the Ovalo champion? Sometimes I just forget that I have invis. Alright, that's just me. You know, I I just forget. I don't really rely on invisibility too much even though i should for this build that's the funny part i should rely on it a lot but i just forget that i have it and i do enjoy clearing the ads i don't really like skipping them so much but like i said if you really want to kill time you can turn invisible and then just deal with the overloads and pretty much that's what i would do if i wanted to do a little speed up Alright, we're gonna deal with the second phase, Unstoppable Champion. It's gonna spawn left, right, depending of the spawn animation. And it looks like it's gonna be from the right side. Oh, great. Bad luck. I hate when Unstoppable Champion spawns from the left side. So, this is gonna be a little bit annoying, so I'm gonna stagger the Unstoppable Champion and then pull back. And then use Dragon's Breath again. See, if I was using Anarchy, I would tag it. And it would have been taken down already. Oh well. Nothing I could do. So now I'm gonna back where you just go all the way from the left side or right side, depending of perspective. But anyway, I'm gonna try to tether. I'm gonna try to use Dragon's Breath on the Ogre. The good news is it's just one unstoppable champion. I mean, imagine there was two of them. Imagine Bungie decided to just add another champion. Like, wouldn't that be horrible? Wouldn't that be a nightmare? Alright, so now we're going to deal with the ogre from far distance. He's the last mini boss-ish. I mean, <laughs> honestly, the last phase is going to be hilarious. Because there is, remember... What I said about there's five types of overload champions, scorn champions. Well, there is a lava. And now we got a bang. So, unfortunately, I got one of the shockers. But the good news is it's not a drainer. So I noticed after the second phase of the boss fight is when the bang starts to spawn. And they also spawn at the third phase as well. So they actually added these bangs at the boss fight. Unfortunately. Now I'll be honest with you. I really don't like it. I know this week the mods are easy going. But what about mods that are extremely, I would say, unfair? And let me say for example... Like, at the boss fight, dealing with Haze, Innervert Spire. What about that? Alright, I mean, imagine if this Nightfall was Haze. I mean, think about it. Boss can could one-shot you, you gotta move around, you can't stand still, or you're gonna get damage. Imagine that. Alright. And then all these bangs are draining you you're trying to run health regenerating so slow i mean wouldn't that be unfair but anyway i'll talk about that another time about introvert spire i don't like it they've ruined my baby all right they've ruined my introvert spire 
I had a bad feeling about it. I mean, I'm not surprised because I had a feeling <laughs> that they were going to ruin it. We're going to just kill all the ad spawns. Usually it's around 7 to 8 phases at the boss fight. And so far we dealt with the shocker bang and the drainer bang or the bond bang. So once we clear all the ads, then you can have an easier time doing one, you know, doing DPS one on one with the boss. So I'm gonna stand behind this statue again, this sculpture, because for some reason the boss doesn't like to hurt the sculpture, which is good news for me, good news for the hunter. So now I'm just trying to make sure he doesn't move around. Like, gosh. Hold still, boss. You're just embarrassing me, man. And I'm gonna do a time skip since I'm just gonna stand here and just do DPS. I'll be right back. After doing DPS, you know, behind a statue, since the boss doesn't want to break it, we're at the next room, the final room. This is the room where we were previously. This is the room where we were before. Where we had to deal with a sniper overload champion. So you can spam your grenade launcher to deal with these corrupted scorns, to deal with the scorn ads on the head. I'm gonna be saving my dragon's breath so I can deal with the final boss. And unfortunately, we have to deal with one more champion. Yes, one more champion. Did I mention it's a lava? Yes, it's actually a lava champion. There's a lava overload champion that shoots lava. Yeah, right, Blitz. Why would they put a lava, Blitz? Hey, it was there since the beginning, alright? Yes, there is a lava overload champion. During the, the old version, the lava overload champion was a pain. It did so much damage. Couldn't believe it. But now, for this version, He's harmless as a fly. He's just very annoying because he can tether the enemies. Alright, Oblo Champion. What's going on over here? I shot my grenade launcher. Okay, I kind of miss. And every gain is health. Alright, so I'm going to use my pulse rifle, my grenade launcher. And hopefully this Oblo Champion can cooperate because for some reason his health regained like pretty quickly. I mean, did you see his health? He went like whoop. Alright, we're gonna go for the next phase. And the next phase is dealing with a Lava Oblo Champion. Let me introduce you. He's gonna be on the middle, hopefully. I was wrong. He's gonna be at the far back middle. So this Lava Ovalo Champion, yes, he loves to shoot lava. A lot of it. He is immune, fortunately it was too late to do super. It was pretty much bad luck for me, but it's okay, it doesn't really matter. So I am eventually going to take down the Ovalo Champion, the Lava, but the Shocker was harassing me first, so I might as well do some damage to the shocker so yeah see i told you guys he shoots lava no one believed me the blood blitz lava <laughs> yes it actually shoots lava this overload champion i know it's weird you know some people think i'm lying no it actually just spams lava all right it's a lava bender all right it's some maybe that's the explanation i'm not sure that's the guess i can think of so now I'm going to go just rotate and hopefully I can take down the Lava Overload Champion. And then we're going to get Platinum Rank. Also the boss, good luck, it got tethered as well. And then we're going to take down a bunch of ads and then back away. I'm going to run away from my bungee life. Just rotate my life. And now we're going to deal with the Blast Bang. I think i don't remember there, there were so many of them that we had to deal with the boss fight i can't remember but hopefully we'll take him down we'll use my furniture and then back away he stomped me but the good news is the bron the modifier
because of the modifier, the boss can't one-shot me. I just love taking the revenge of this boss. It's just so fun, isn't it? Alright, so now we have to deal with the mini phases of the boss. Now, if you have your super, just use your super. Or if you have Dragon's Breath or Anarchy, you could just spam Anarchy, spam your heavy, spam your abilities, pretty much anything to deal with this boss. The reason why I was just focusing on the phases is so these stalkers can not spam their void grenades. I don't want to deal with that again, okay? I am still traumatized from the last time I did first place of the vile. Not last, last season, I will say the old version. Really despise it. But now we're going to just spam grenade launcher. And then this boss eventually will cooperate. So I'm just trying to clear as much ads as I can. And then I'm going to spam Dragon's Breath very soon. Because it looks like he's just going to hang around that spot. Which is good for me. So I'm definitely going to spam my Dragon's Breath as much as I can. Alright, so I'm going to make him stay there. Because since we're using Dragon's Breath or pretty much any strong heavy weapon, we can make him stand around, you know, stagger him a bit, and then just do as much DPS as you can. I'm gonna use grenade launcher, gonna use the pulse rifle, pretty much gonna do a lot of DPS as much as I can. See, if I was on Warlock, I would pop a healing threat right now, or barricade on my tights so I can reload faster. But can't do that, sadly. Had to deal with the hunter. Alright, we finally took down the boss. And we got Plata. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.